Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the third and the final part of uh, the impersonal self. We talked about certain things before also just to recapitulate. God says, ask me a question and then wait for the answer to appear. Now there will be different answers. Look for the authentic answer which strikes you as the most logical response from God Almighty. But this alertness is required. So God says, learn to distinguish my voice from all other voices. There are many unauthentic voices and the voice of God is the most authentic. However, in order to reach this stage, one must be free of all distortions of the thinking processes like OCD, obsessive compulsive disorders and conflict reason situations and constant mind jibber and chatter. Once one is out of these, then one can hear the voice of God loud and clear. And once one is able to do that, God says, you are very close now. And you are close to what? Close to seeking the kingdom of God. And if one is able to establish that con connection, connection with God Almighty, then he has entered the kingdom of God. And in this context, it is worthwhile to mention that um, if one is able to secure the kingdom or is able to enter the kingdom of God, then if something is missing from his life, that doesn't matter because God is the top priority. And God asks a question, have I not always provided everything? He is the bestower of all gifts. He is the bestower of life, of our breathing processes, of our heartbeats. And if one wants to serve God, then God says, I must be first if you truly love me. That is, you have to give God the right protocol. You have to accord him the top priority in life. And that you can do intellectually, you can do emotionally also. Okay. So if you want to establish union with God, then God says, you must come in complete surrender to me. There should be no... Uh, argument from your side. You have to come in complete surrender. And he says that I am the tree of life within you. That is, I am your health, strength and vitality. Be still and know I am God. So that concept of um, establishing um, communion with God has to come once one achieves a certain stillness of thinking, in, still, in thinking, because if the mind is turbulent, if there is violence in the mind, if there is conflict-ridden mind is there, then uh, you cannot talk to God. So in fact, we covered two or three steps. First of all was that uh, you have to uh, get rid of the error thinking. This is the first phase. Second is finding me. That is, you have to search for God and try to establish uh, a connection with him, secure a connection with him. The third step involved, uh, uh, first one was um, uh, uh, error thinking, you have to get rid of it. Second was finding me, that is uh, getting in, in touch with God Almighty. And the third one is sweet communion. And from sweet communion, we move on to the tree of life, and union. So these are the various steps that one has to take in order to establish a, a secure and everlasting connection with God Almighty. So stillness has to be there. Be still and know I am God, except you now your divine heritage. Now God is ready to bestow upon you his favors. Awake, rise up, and assert your sovereignty. Imagine this, think it, know it. You and I are one. So once you have been able to establish this kind of a connection, then God says, know that you and I are one. So you, one must be willing to serve God. And this willingness to serve God will be manifested in different ways. But most of all, you will find this willingness to serve in what God really expects of you is that you should serve humanity.
and that whatever gifts he has bestowed upon you, you should put them to good use in the service of humanity. Because God doesn't need anything. Then all experiences will be blessings. They will not be trials. They will not be uh, tests. All experiences will be blessings. And God will promote and develop the soul qualities which hitherto one has neglected to develop. And then one will find a change in himself. One will find a sort of a transformation and one would be helpful towards people. And he would do it lovingly, not because he thinks that this way uh, he has become a remarkable person and this way his ego is being inflated. No, it will be total loving helpfulness. That is, you will feel the urge to go do good. You will learn to turn within and always find me. And whenever in doubt or whenever uh, one is at crossroads, then one will turn inwards and will find the answer and response from God Almighty. Your greatest school and teacher is in your home. And then you will see that your children and your wife become loving presences. And that in many cases, you will find the answers coming from them. Because God will be shining in them. God will be showing his um, presence in them. So step submissively aside and let my light shine forth. So get rid of your ego. And according to Dr. Wayne Dyer, ego stands for edging God out. You just have to step outside and let God enter within and take charge of your life. You who have received must give. And God doesn't require anything. He says, you who, have, you who have received must give. Now that I have given you everything, you must pay back. There is a time to receive and there is a time to pay back. And the time to pay back is in the service of humanity. Thank you very much. God bless you.